Jamestown police have arrested two men accused of breaking into six homes in one hour span. And their crime spree may not be limited to just Jamestown. 26-year-old John Young and 43-year-old Thomas Plo are each facing multiple charges after reportedly being caught by police right outside a home. I would assume supporter Steph Machado is live in Jamestown with other community police officers are saying and how it all went down. Steph? Jamestown police say these two men rapidly broke into half a dozen homes yesterday. Police tracking them down thanks to a GPS device on one of the suspect's cars. 26-year-old John Young and 43-year-old Thomas Plu accused of breaking into six Jamestown homes in one hour on Monday. We think that their activity began around 11. Jamestown Police Chief Edward Mello says his department got a call from Sutton, Massachusetts Police. They had placed a GPS tracker on the suspect's car after some break-ins in Massachusetts and told Jamestown PD the car was on the island. We were actually uh, within moments of starting to look for that vehicle. We started to receive phone calls of um, homes being broken into. Police say the suspects broke into homes on Lawn Avenue, Pierce Avenue, Marine Avenue, North Main Road and Intrepid Lane in quick succession. And that GPS was instrumental in us locating that vehicle and then eventually taking the driver of that vehicle into custody. Police say Young was pulled over while driving the car on Intrepid Lane with a bag of jewelry inside. Plu captured minutes later as he tried to run away, also found with alleged stolen property. Some cash, uh, watches, um, he had a duffel bag, a small duffel bag full of stolen property which was recovered. Uh, when I encountered him, he dropped the bag and fled on foot. Chief Mello says he expects more break-in victims to come forward. And hopefully put a number of communities, not only Jamestown, but at ease as these individuals were apparently were traveling throughout Rhode Island and in Massachusetts um, perpetrating these crimes. And these two men were also charged today with a break-in in Newport. They are under investigation in Burrowville, and we're told Plu is charged with a break-in in Northbridge, Massachusetts, and a number of other departments in Massachusetts are also investigating break-ins. Now, coming up new at 6, we'll speak to the owner of one of the homes that was broken into here in Jamestown. Live in Jamestown, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Six new details on a string of breaking and enterings throughout Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Two suspects were arrested in Jamestown on Monday. They're charged with six break-ins in Jamestown and one in Newport. Iowa News supporter Steph Machado was inside the courtroom for the suspects' arraignments. She joins us now live from Jamestown with the latest. Steph. The Jamestown police chief tells me after they captured these two suspects, police from all over Rhode Island and Massachusetts started calling to see if they could be connected to break-ins in those communities. A broken window in the back door of Lisa Parsons Jamestown home. One of six houses police say these two men broke into in the span of an hour on Monday. Everything looked fine except all the drawers in the house were open. Parsons says she rents this house out and the tenants had just left over the weekend. So there really wasn't anything in the house of real value and that probably frustrated them. We think that their activity began around 11. Jamestown Police Chief Edward Mello says the suspects hit house after house, allegedly stealing items like jewelry and cash from other Jamestown homes. But little did they know, police in Massachusetts had placed a GPS tracking device on 26-year-old John Young's car. That GPS and the, the ability to track that uh, vehicle yesterday was instrumental in us apprehending them. Mello says Young was pulled over and arrested, a bag of jewelry in the car. 43-year-old Thomas Plu captured after a chase on foot, also carrying alleged stolen items in a duffel bag. I'm really happy to hear that they're caught and hopefully we can rest easy. And again, police in towns all over Rhode Island and Massachusetts are now looking into whether these two men could be responsible for break-ins in their towns. So far, the two men are formally charged in Jamestown, in Newport, and Plu only is charged with a break-in in Northbridge, Mass. Live in Jamestown, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.